try not to put this one on crooked this time. Never crooked. Oh. You're getting, you're getting, getting some fresh stickers here. Oh, great job. Great placement. Huh. Oh, look at that. Sick, dude. What a sticker. And I got another one. Oh, you got a backup. Matching cabinet. What is going on? Welcome back. We are back inside Andy's garage working on his 2018. Oh, I can't really see that. But anyway, guys, if you guys haven't probably put two and two together, we are going to be replacing Andrew's factory dual mass piece of junk clutch flywheel nonsense in his truck with nothing but the best, of course, going with South Bend. You guys know that we use South Bend in pretty much everything. It is my number one go-to if you're gonna put a clutch in any vehicle, Ford, Chevy, or Dodge, South Bend uh, has, has, has you covered and has everybody beat by a mile. So uh, that's what we're working on today. We are gonna be uh, changing that out with one of their street dual discs. Andy's already working inside here, getting the interior out of here. And then I'm gonna go down, bounce underneath go ahead and get this G56 uh, pulled out. But big thing, uh, we'll go over a couple little specs here, uh, but their street dual disc, like I said, Ford, Chevy, or Dodge, they offer a street dual disc. Uh, G56 is a 13 inch diameter clutch, which is much bigger than anything else out there. Uh, just a really, really nice clutch as far as engagement, longevity, nicest clutch. We actually went with, uh, for Andy's truck, the full organic street dual disc, which is a super, super nice unit, uh, especially if you guys are used to a factory uh, release, a factory driving clutch. This is gonna be the clutch for you guys. They do also offer a multi-friction disc, uh, which is rated for a little bit more power, uh, a little bit more abuse, but uh, that's what we went with for Andy. So on the G56s, uh, of course, we are gonna be upgrading the hydraulics to their stainless steel braided, nice hydraulics, brand new neutral safety switch on here, already pre-bled out. Yeah, that's the gist of where we're, where we're starting today. Get this baby installed. <laughs> All righty, guys, we are pretty much almost ready to come out with the transmission. Andy went ahead. Got all of the interior pieces out. Probably gonna stuff a rag in there to make sure nothing uh, nothing gets down inside there, but have to take the whole shift tower out. Take that stuff all out. Andy's working on the uh, cross member. Underneath here, we got the uh, drive shafts out of the way. We got all of the uh, harness plugs out of the way and removed from the, uh, the transmission. Got the shift lever off. We're gonna pull the uh, pull the trans with the transfer case on, which sometimes is a pain in the butt, but that's what we're gonna do. Got the hydraulics out of here, so really, really just uh, gotta pull these cross member bolts out of here once we uh, once we get the trans jack in and do the bell housing bolts. And you also got the uh, factory uh, hydraulics out of here. Here you can kind of see that this line is just made from like a nylon. Not rubber, but like nylon plastic. Uh, what'll happen a lot of times is uh, you'll actually have that expand a little bit instead of a stainless steel line. So this is why they recommend that, making sure you have proper travel. New neutral safety switch, so that's that. We'll get that in there after the new clutch is in, but removal is pretty much almost done. McDonald's. <laughs> Andy's, Andy's over here, he's pretty excited about McDonald's. You guys wanna see these tech three boots hit? Nobody cares about your dirt scooter boots, dude. What, what do you get? You got all red? Let's start calling you Ricky Carmichael. Red and white, red. Did you buy those? They didn't give them to me for free. Well, I didn't know if your friend gave them to I'm you or what. I'm not sponsored. Dude, how's, how's, the, how's the unit? She's a runner. Look at all this crap in here. Hard work of man. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? There's no rules. I'm so hungry, I don't care about anything. Andy's Andy's beginning very hangry. No good though. Are you good? Are you, are you getting into better mood now? Mm. Okay, I'm I'm glad about that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 
I'll stop making it weird. <laughs> yeah, it's not even late. It's early and it's getting weird. All right, I'm checking out the grandma's. Well, they don't call him Muscle Man Andy Savage for nothing. Sketchiness to the max. So, what we're doing now is uh, this pivot ball has a washer behind it that you need to make sure that you take out because of spacing and the, uh, the new pivot arm and all that happy, happy stuff. That washer, Just leave that sucker out. Throw that, throw that baby right out, garbage. Put that back in, tighten it up, and go ahead and start removing, removing your factory junk. Now it's very important you torque this to spec. Torque to spec. Toy, bro. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start getting the new, uh, the new stuff in there. All right, here is the stock junk. This is the uh, piece that's actually attached to your crank. If I can get it up. Hey, 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 come on, come on, girl, come on. I can't get this off. Wow. You need me to flip it for you? Yeah, flip this over for me, would you? <clears throat> Not a problem. Let's see? There you go. So, this piece is actually what bolts to your crank, like that. Those bolts go to your crank, and then actually, when you remove your stock dual mass flywheel, you got bolts that actually come through the back side of this. That attach to this which would be considered like your normal flywheel but you actually have to take it off uh, like kind of like an automatic transmission with converter bolts through the uh, bell housing inspection cover. inspection cover yep but here is the uh, here's the disc plenty of life left plenty of life left Indy trucks only got 13,000 miles on it but preparing for more horse purrs so horse purrs. <clears throat> What we're going to do now is take this apart right here. Oh, boy, you are going to make a mess. Ay, 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 ay. All right, bro, it's my house. <laughs> you guys notice this t-shirt, by the way? Oh. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go ahead and undo this part, get this all separated, go ahead and attach our new uh, flywheel, bolt that into the, uh, bolt that into the truck, and uh, yeah, be, uh, be good to go. Andy's working on getting that inner fender liner out because we're going to go ahead and start installing the uh, fleece coolant bypass here. Got the clutch disassembled a little bit for you so you guys can kind of see the frictions. Uh, we got 12 frictions on here. You can kind of see exactly how the, uh, the floater plate in the middle works on this style clutch. Again, 13 inch diameter. Um, just really, really, really nice. Um, pop this one off. Take a look at that. Go ahead and clean all that stuff up. Put that baby in there. Whew, she's gonna be nice, nice. As you can see, much, much easier access to that rear uh, freeze plug right there. So we gotta pop that baby out. We're actually gonna drain some of the coolant out. Obviously we don't wanna take a bath back here, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and drain some coolant out. Get our uh, bypass put up in there. And we'll go ahead and start reinstalling the flywheel and all the South Bend stuff. Somebody will tell me a better way to do this, but still the easiest way that I have found to drain coolant out of these things is just to pop off that lower hose just a little bit and let that drain out. Uh, because the drain on these things is kind of a pain. Yeah, just give her, no, 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 uh, go. 
Where's the punch? Use the punch. Stick it on the inside edge. Don't go, like, stick it on the flat part. Oh, okay. Uh, you're gonna have to whack it a little harder than that. I'm trying to, like you mean it, Sally. I'm trying to get it as well. Normally people like pick the upper edge. There you go. Needle nose pliers and pull it out the rest of the way. Look at that. No coolant, that's so nice. You the man. No coolant, that's a great sign. You don't want to take a bath. There we go. Get that red scotch bright, clean her up. All right, well, we didn't exactly quite finish up everything. We are almost there, but that is where we are gonna call it. All we really have to do is put the uh, clamps on that hose, connect that right there. The new clutch is in. Transmission and transfer case are back in. We just really just have to button up everything underneath here, but it is quitting time, it is time to go eat some dinner, have some family time, finish off Sunday. Very easy, uh, very easy second day to uh, to wrap it up, which we will do probably a little bit later. But uh, good day. Definitely a little challenging with the uh, with the homemade jacks on the ground. Not the easiest, but is uh, is doable. What do you say, Andy? Tired. Tired. It's time to it's time to quit it. Time to quit it. So that is where we're pretty much gonna wrap up this video, guys. Stay tuned for the second part where we get the truck running, buttoned up, done, coolant back in it. We didn't even put coolant back in it yet, uh, but the bypass is done, everything looks good. So we'll put coolant in it, button up, and we'll go for a test drive on the next video. So that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See ya. Bye. Bye. It is the following morning back in the truck, already on our way to another road trip. Uh, that'll be tomorrow's video, possibly posting almost every day this week, guys. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to rewrap up this video. Uh, towards the end, we were we were definitely struggling. Um, we borrowed Ryan's transmission jack, which has seen better days, has no adjustment on it, and those G56 transmissions are just a pain in the butt, hence why we were cutting the wood to try and make something work. But uh, we pulled the trans and transfer case out uh, together, going back in, Man, I'm telling you, doing it with the tra the transfer case on the back of the transmission when you're doing it on the ground and without a, oh, look at this truck, look at this truck. Yes, that is a nice looking truck. Oh yeah. Man, that's actually pretty similar to the cut of that one. Oh man, painted visor too, ooh baby. That's gonna look, <laughs> that is actually gonna look like almost, I'm actually gonna slow down. I'm gonna let him pass me again. Uh, but anyway, anyway, <laughs> sidetracked, sidetracked. Um, you hear me preach all the time, guys. Get out there, get it done, no excuses. Uh, you know, we did a clutch on the ground. You can do it with the ramps, you can do it without the ramps. Jack stands, doesn't matter. Uh, all in all, if you totaled up the amount of money that we had in tools to do that job, you are not anything more than a couple hundred bucks. Um, and it's stuff, it's simple stuff simple uh, wrenches, sockets, a couple Allens, and those ramps and a trans jack, really. Uh, but anyway, no excuses. Get out there, get it done. I hear people say all the time, well, I could if I had the time. Oh, I, I could or I can, but it'd just be easier for somebody else to do it. Guys, don't, don't, don't be that guy. You know, if, if you want to do it and you can do it, then do it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, I want you guys to get out there, get it done. I want you guys to learn new things. You're never gonna be able to advance if you uh, shove it off, don't do it, drop it off somewhere. Uh, you know, I, I wanna see you guys out there getting your hands dirty, wrenching away. Uh, that's my passion. Uh, it's not always easy, fun, glamorous. Sometimes you get your butt kicked. Um, but anyway, you will feel accomplished. You will pat yourself on the back when you have learned to do it and it's done. And you might mess it up one or two times along the way, but that's okay, that's how you learn. Um, so that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to learn, progress. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully some of this helped. I know we didn't go step by step. One of my first ever videos on this channel was doing a clutch. Man, this truck is just not catching up and I'm going way too slow. Man, oh man.
he's getting further, further behind. Anyway, if you guys want a complete step-by-step, -step, one of the first videos that we did on the channel was a uh, full clutch install. Uh, really, really not a super difficult, uh, it's a bolt-on, 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 bolt-off deal. So uh, anyway, guys, that's gonna do it. Just wanted to have a little, little, little pep talk here at the end. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for all the future videos uh, coming this week. We'll be, we'll, we will be all over the place. We got more Peterbilt parts coming, uh, actually being delivered to Mark's shop. And boy, boy, is it going to be good. All right, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you.